Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to pour on another uh, fall cutout. I got a few more at the Dollar Tree. They're just these little, little wood things. But this one, we're gonna do a leaf today, and it's gonna be a challenge because I clearly cannot do just one bloom. We're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try a multiple bloom. I've, I've. Had, I have limited experience with multiple blooms, meaning one, more than one on a canvas. Uh, the, the ones I have done in the past didn't really go well, so we're gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be an experiment for me too, so, but I'm excited to give it a try and I'm gonna use some fall color, so let's go get started having some fun with this. All right, for today's fun fallout, fun fallout, <laughs> fun fall cutout piece, oh my gosh, Jody. Uh, I've got a leaf that I got at the Dollar Tree, and this one, it's kind of, it's not, it's its bowing just ever so slightly, so we may run into a trouble with it, and we may not, but I just wanted to have some fun with this, as we did with the pumpkin. I'm going to use similar colors, but uh, we're going to use a black cell activator today. So I'm going to run through the colors really quick, the cell activator and the pillow, and then we will get started painting. So the first color I have got is the quinacridone and nickel azo gold the golden fluid i've got this mixed up right here here's the consistency this is mixed up with the valspar verathane most uh actually no i take that back one two three colors are mixed up with the valspar verathane and i will cut i will call everything out i've got three pouring mediums in today's pour but everything will be listed at the beginning of this video in snapshots as well as in the description box down below per usual so my next color is going to be the Praj Posse Persian Autumn Yellow. And here's that. This is mixed up with the Valspar Verathane Pouring Medium. And then I have the This Little Piggy Ball Gown, which is a Interference Gold. And I've got this mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. And then I've got the Praj Posse antique copper metallic just a little bit left of this i've had this mixed up for a little bit and this is with my valspar verathane and then finally i have a mixture of quinacridone burnt orange and then amsterdam amsterdam oxide black i started with this and then i added just a little tiny squirt or half squirt of black just to darken it up a little and I got this kind of rusty, dark browny color, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I've had this, I, I've used this probably a few videos back uh, when I was comparing the U.S. Flow Trial Cell Activators in a swipe. I like this fall color, but this is actually mixed up with my Infinity Joe Sonia. All right. Now, the cell activator, I have, I'm going to be using the black one today. This is my normal black cell activator, the, Amster, or the Australian Floetrol mixed with the Amsterdam, Amsterdam Oxide Black at 4 to 1. Now, my pillow, I'm going to be using my Glidden Premium Satin. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of drizzle it along and then spread it out because this is such an odd shape. I just want to get everything covered and we're going to do a couple of tiny little blooms instead of just one big bloom here. That's my vision. I've not actually done more than one bloom uh, or not too many of them, if at all. I'm trying to recall having done multiple blooms in a piece, but we're going to attempt that today, but they're going to kind of be in their own little separate areas. All right, I think that is evenly done. So my thought here is I'm gonna put a little bit more pillow. I wanna do a little bloom here, one here, one here, and one here. So we'll have actually kind of closer to here. One, two, three, and then four. So I'm gonna put a little bit more pillow in each of those areas. Whoa, that was probably too much. But that's all right. Any excess we'll just get spun off 
just to build that up just a little bit. All right, let's start with this one first. I'm gonna do one at a time and then let them sit. So I've got the Quinacridone Nickel Azel Gold. And then the Persian Yellow. The Ball Gown. The Antique uh, Metallic Copper. And then the uh, quinacridone burnt orange with the oxide black in there. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to lay out the other ones too really quick. It'll be easier to blow them all. <laughs> See, I'm new. I'm new at this. This is new for me. Put that there. And I'll put a smaller one in the middle. That first one will probably spread out, but that's okay. Okay. This should be really interesting since it's moving around. <laughs> I'm trying to be quick and I'm making a mess and oh my gosh, I'm so not used to this. <laughs> yeah, that's all right if some of it runs off. Okay, let's start with this one here. Probably too much, but that's okay. I love how the colors are blending together. All right, um, I'm gonna go this way. This one next. Next one. And the last one. Eek. Almost want to do stuff on the ends here. Yeah. I do just 
little tiny ones right at the end. Just so it doesn't feel left out. And I probably got way too much paint on here, but this is now a new experiment for me. <laughs> but this is fun. I'm having fun here. Okay, cell activator. Cell activator before this all blows off. There we go. Bring you back up top. We've got <laughs> a lot more blooms than I than I said I was gonna do. I want to do a little bit of modifications, and then we're gonna spin it out. I think we're good. We've got a lot of paint on here, so we got to spin some of this off. I will meet you over at the spinner box, and we will see what comes of this. All right. Here's what we have before we start spinning it out. I love the color play in here. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to look. This, this multiple bloom, so new for me. But we're just going to spin it and see what happens. Wow, yeah. Some of it is super cool, but I've still got... Let me see here. I'm not sure how I feel about those white. White right here. I can't really see it, though. It's kind of cool, though, actually. I love the colors. I'm not getting a lot of movement either and I don't want to I'm not sure I want to spin again because then the the cool stuff's going to go off even more let's see here let's see if I can move it up just a little Hmm, let me see what this looks like all on its own. Wow, <laughs> that actually looks pretty dang cool. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover this. That was pretty quick. All right, well, here's the flyover this guy. I thought I would have to be spinning it more, but I just loved it. I loved how it was coming out and I hope it stays this way. Some really nice shimmers in there. Um, but it was starting to fall off towards this end where the white was showing more. So I've added a little bit of little flare, but I love all these colors and how they've blended. Just gorgeous. I uh, just added a little bit more flair there as well, but see it was they were they were sliding off this way and leaving more of the white, so it was a one spin wonder. <laughs>
but I am going to cross my fingers because it was bowed just a little. However, this paint's pretty thick, so I'm hoping it doesn't slide off anymore and we will we will see how it dries and I'll be back to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the uh, the dried piece we just did, the, the fall leaf. And it actually dried really nicely. I, because it, it was kind of bowed just a little, I, I don't know if you picked it up on camera, uh, but I was a little nervous about if the, if the cells were going to slide around and move too much and they moved a little, but it actually, I mean, it, it just dried really cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this guy. Oops. Here it is as a whole before I bring it in and kind of show you the, uh, and I like, you know, I, I, I think I did pretty well with the multiple blooms. I, I didn't mind this white here and it was, it was kind of falling off as it was drying. It was kind of going this way. So I was like, okay, get some more of the, the white off, <laughs> but I, I don't mind, uh, the, the little bit of white at all. It just kind of adds to it. Um, but it really does have some nice shimmers in there and a lot of places where you see some of the cells getting a little warpy they they were moving like here but I I just think the overall depth of everything and the way the colors blended it was just gorgeous and if you can see up here this moved a lot but it doesn't take away from it at, at all I don't think I'm kind of glad I put these little swirlies and this is my favorite part right right in here it's there's I mean it's almost like you can dive into it oops and then over here a little bit of uh, a little bit fell off here but overall I mean it mostly dried the same way uh, as you saw it wet with just you know just some of these little things here so these so, so don't discount these cute little dollar store you can see well actually it kind of flattened out a little bit more with with the heavy paint but you know these little dollar tree dollar tree wood wood cutouts i think they have mdf cutouts too and they're fun to pour on i don't know about you but i was really digging this uh this color palette it really represents fall pretty well so it it'll probably make another comeback at least one more time while fall is still here so so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really had a lot of fun putting it together. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.